Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 most anticipated games for E3 2018. And of course this is all happening before E3 actually takes place, so these are going to be built on things that we already are pretty sure are going to be at E3 and things that is just highly speculated to be at E3. And that's pretty much what this list is going to consist of and of course the ones I'm most anticipating myself. But I would also like to hear what you guys think of my list and on top of that just tell me your own version of this down in the comments would be absolutely absolutely great but with that said let's actually jump into the subject of this video now I'm actually not going to jump straight into the top 10 list because there's something I gotta mention real quick that I don't want to put this on the top 10 list but I still want to mention it because it's a remastered and I don't feel like remastered should be on the I guess the top 10 list even though it could but it's the medieval remastered and medieval was one of my all-time favorite games growing up I just love that thing even going back and playing it like I think I went back and played a couple months ago and I still liked it it's just a game that's just so cool and just so fun and I just cannot wait to see re being remastered it's just I, I don't know it's just something I really really am looking forward to but anyways now actually jumping into the top 10 list and number 10 for me has to be Red Dead Redemption 2 now a lot of people are going to freak out here and see why I have it so high you may question a lot of games over this but the thing is I've never really been into the Red Dead series at all I haven't played the two previous games at all I haven't even even touched anything I even buy Grand Theft Auto 5 guys I'm not even into Rockstar guys imagine me like the one person out of a billion people who did actually not buy Grand Theft Auto 5 so I'm not really into those type of games but I can really see that this game has a lot of hype around it and it actually looks pretty interesting so I don't know I want to try it out and we'll see how it actually turns out and of course that's why I'm putting at 10 but if you guys played in before go and tell me why it was so great and why you guys actually think it should be rated higher because I know a a lot of people really enjoyed the original Red Dead Redemption but anyways moving on to the next one and this one was actually really hard for me to put over Red Dead Redemption but I mean nostalgia took advantage but it's actually Splinter Cell is what I'm going to have at number nine now I don't think we actually have an official title for the game but there were a lot of teasers and it should be announced at E3 at least that's what we're thinking but it's going to be the Splinter Cell and the reason why I put it over Red Dead is because it's supposed to be Sam Fitcher's last I guess game and I really grew up playing it at least with the very first game I mean that was like what was it even called the very first Splinter Cell it was on PS2 and Xbox oh, wait was it on Xbox 360 actually I don't remember what it was on I think it was on Xbox 360 because that launched a little bit before the PS3 yeah but I played it on PS2 and it was just really fun and just thinking about to playing it was just so cool and to see that Sam Fisher's on his last game it's just I don't know pretty cool to see at least for me and I don't know it, it just seems like a pretty cool thing and again pretty much it was just nostalgia taking advantage of me just the main reason why I'm putting it over Red Dead then moving on to number eight we have the Ghost of Tsushima and this game I actually didn't know about it that, that long ago I think I found out about it two weeks ago and this game looks so cool you're going to be playing in the open world kind of like an RPG type of deal thing as a samurai and it's around the time when the Mongols invaded Japan I think that's around the 1200s if I'm not mistaken and it just seems really cool an open world just playing as a samurai going doing whatever it is fighting against all these mongols I mean come on that looks <laughs> don't tell me just someone please tell me that doesn't sound cool just I would like to hear someone actually being sincere saying that doesn't sound cool it just sounds so flipping cool and I don't know I got really hyped for it after seeing a couple I guess trailers that we got for it a while back and I don't know it looks like a really cool game and I really want to see more about it mainly at E3 of course in just about a week's time pretty much but then after that I have number seven and that's going to be Marvel Spider-Man and this game is just a probably nostalgia game because it reminds me so much of the early I guess Spider-Man games I remember Spider-Man 1 on the PS1 and then the Spider-Man 2 on PS2 was just I mean those games were so fun when I was growing up and I mean I really want another Spider-Man game to like go and grasp that feeling again because I really haven't liked any of the other Spider-Man games except those two original ones it was just like I would like to see it again this one looks very very promising I really think they'll bring back that I guess what really made those original Spider-Man games so fun for me especially if they don't bring back the balloon mission like I don't know if you guys have ever played that game but there was a balloon mission where someone would lose their balloon and you had to go find it but it was impossible to find the stupid balloon but I don't know it was just so fun playing those games I really hope they capture that and add some more to it especially now that we're on I guess a PS4 compared to back then was a PS2 which 
it's just crazy but anyways the next one i'm going to be talking about and this one i don't know where to put it but i put it at six because i just could not think of what exactly to think of it because this game is just weird and it's number six and it's death stranding and this thing of course is made by the original creator of metal gear and i didn't really get into the metal gear series at all but this game by itself even if it wasn't made by that guy it really catches you my eye because they're saying that they're going to do stuff that we've never ever seen before in video games ever flat out never this is going to be the first time we're going to be seeing these mechanics ever and that alone gets me really hyped for it but just the weirdness of everything we've got from this game i mean it really really does stand out and i cannot wait to see what's going on with this game and that's all i can really say about it i mean we saw a baby in this guy's mouth and then we saw a baby in a jar i mean it's some weird stuff but i don't know i'm really looking forward to see what the heck this is all about i'm not too sure if it's going to be good or not hopefully it's just not some super weird stuff that just is too far out there for everybody but i don't know i can't wait to see more of it and i hope we really get more at this e3 hopefully at the i think it'll be at the playstation i mean time whenever that is i think that's on monday so that's exactly a week from when i'm recording this but now we're entering into the top five and number five for me has to be days gone and days gone of course got delayed because it was going to be released later this year but there were just so many games dropping later this year that they said i mean i don't want to get lost in all the other games so they moved it till next spring if i'm correct and i really am looking forward to this game i don't really look forward to these zombie games that are just open world but this this one actually looks pretty interesting i thought dying light looked cool but this one actually really caught my eye because it looks like it's going to be more focused on the characters than something like dying light is just pure surviving or i guess it's not pure surviving but it doesn't really have the characters really pop out and then that's why i'm really looking forward to this is just because it's going to probably have good gameplay but this characters is just something that i mean it's just something that kind of reminds me of the last of us or something like that and i just realized i didn't put the last of us on this list whatever whatever I, I, again this is a, just me cutting off a of memory right now guys i do apologize I, I i know i missed games because i just remembered i missed a game right there but regardless we're moving on to number four and of course that is anthem and anthem i know a lot of people are starting to lose hope in because i mean everything that happened with ea last year yeah i think it was last year yeah late last year with uh, of course battlefront and all that and it really scares people to not really trust an anthem but i'm really hoping anthem could be what destiny promised to be because it looks like that's what it's going to be because for me destiny was really disappointing and didn't really i guess really be what it, i thought they were selling it to be and i just didn't like that about destiny and i think anthem could really just do what destiny was trying to do or at least what i thought destiny was going to be and it's just i really really want that and i hope they do that inside anthem and i'm not losing hope like a lot of other people because i just think it's going to be a good game i just I don't know it just looks like a really good game to me and i cannot wait to see more of course probably at ea's uh, press conference but now we're entering the top three getting closer and closer to the top and number three for me has to be cyberpunk 2077 now this game we probably know nothing about still we only got one trailer and we i guess we know about the setting because it's going to be again in 2077 but it's going to be when i guess corporations took over the world which doesn't really catch my attention but the ai also taking over i mean that really catches my attention and on top of that it's been in development for like five years already so maybe we'll see a release but people are speculating that we will get more information about it actually i think it's been confirmed actually wait I think we are getting more information about it at this E3, but it might not actually come out till the PS5 comes out, so I don't know. That's going to be it's going to be a little crazy, but regardless, it is something worth checking out because it just looks like a crazy good game. This is just another one of those games kind of like Death Standing that we don't know much about, but it just looks so good. It's just if you're in development for over 5 years, I mean, I can't imagine that it's going to be bad. But anyways, now we're going to enter in the top two, and I know a lot of people are not going to like my top two because, I mean, it's just, I just can't lie to myself though. These are the two, I guess the two games I'm really looking forward to more than all the other ones, but a lot of people aren't going to really like it. But these two games, I just grew up playing them and I never got tired of them. 
But number two has to be Black Ops 4. And I know a lot of people are going to say, what are you saying? Red, you had Red Dead Redemption, you had Death Stand, you had Cyberpunk, you had Anthem, you had Days Gone, and all these really, really cool sounding games. And yes, but I just cannot. I just tried to get more hype for these games, but I just can't. And Black Ops 4 is just something I'm really, really looking forward to and just finding out more information about it, especially with its blackout and zombies. The multiplayer is still there. I know it's cool and all, but I'm really looking forward to more information about zombies and blackout and just cannot wait to see that. And of course, E3 is probably going to give us that opportunity, probably at PlayStation's press conference exactly a week from recording this. So I know a lot of people aren't going to like that, but it's just that I really, really am looking forward to Black Ops 4. But it actually didn't land at a number one spot for me because obviously I make mainly Call of Duty Zombies videos, but it didn't land number one. So what possibly could be number one? And this one actually is not confirmed to be there in the slightest. It's just something that has been highly rumored to exist. And it's rumored to be at Microsoft's press conference. And it has to be my number one, and I really hope it's gonna be there, but that's Halo 6. Now I know the last two Halos have been not good to say the very least, but my gosh, I really just want Halo to be great again because it was just so fun. I remember playing Halo 3 and Halo Reach, mainly Halo, Halo 3. I absolutely adored Halo 3. My gosh, I love that game so much. And it's just that I really think that they could do it. I know it's not Bungie making anymore. It's 3 for 3, but I think that they have learned over the last two games. I at least hope they did. And they're actually going to go and bring back what made Halo the better game, but then add even more to it to make it even a better game one thing i've been begging for in gaming for so long is the forge mode from halo 3 and of course halo reach they all really had it but when they took that out in halo 4 and then of course they have it again in halo 5 it was just so disappointing because i absolutely adored the forge mode the forge mode was my thing i played that for hours and hours and hours and hours you guys would not believe how much i played that forge mode it was just so fun i just never got bored of it I could play that for an entire day and it's just so sad to see that it's not in any game anymore and I really really hope they bring that back in Halo 6 and it's just something that's going to be absolutely crazy and I don't know that just has to be my number one because I'm just getting really high hopes for Halo 6 and it's we again don't know if it's going to be at E3 but it's probably going to be there because it's been a good amount of time since Halo 5 came out but anyways that's my list guys tell me what you guys think about it do you disagree agree with some things or just again tell me anything you think of my list and leave your own list down in the comments because I would like to hear what you guys think about E3 and what you guys are really expecting and wanting to see at E3 but if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead do all the normal YouTube stuff like subscribe bell share and especially bell but i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys on my next video